good day to you. I recently had to buy myself a new smoke machine because uh, my old smoke machine died. I will explain that shortly. I was very excited to get my new smoke machine, which I've been putting off buying for a long time. Um, I thought it might be nice to film myself opening it up and unboxing, I believe the young people of the internet call it. So I have filmed an unboxing. Um, unfortunately, in the process of filming, I caught the mic cable at some point. And so the audio quality for a large chunk of the video is quite dire. It's a little bit up and down all over the place. Um, so if you're into watching a confused old man opening up a parcel and getting quite excited and then failing to be able to work out how to start a smoke machine off, this is the video for you. Onwards, good luck with the sound. Hello. I had a minor disaster this week, uh, two minor disasters if you count the fact I've got a bright red face today from being outside gardening in the sun all day, which was lovely. Um, my minor disaster was my beautiful smoke machine has died, a uh, water bottle leaked and filled its workings with water so it's uh, not safe to use. It's not that much of a disaster, oh look see it's still leaking out, it's not that much of a disaster because I was planning on upgrading anyway. It's just a bit of a shame because I was hoping to give this away to a good cause and I'm not sure I can in all good conscience give away a smoke machine whose internal electronics have been filled with um, water. I'll take a call on that at some point. Anyway, I was planning to upgrade. This is, a lo this is my uh, beautiful, I'm going to mispronounce this now, Chevet DJ, Chevet DJ Hurricane 700. It's a great little smoke machine. But it's got a few limitations, especially for some of the bits and pieces I wanted to do. You don't have a huge amount of control over it. It's basically on or off. I needed something I could control the flow, covered in water now, control the flow, um, and also with a nice remote. So anyway, it gave me the opportunity to upgrade. I have purchased myself uh, the one I, the model I've been after for a while, which is the Chevet DJ Hurricane 1200. Um, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to unbox it because I'm very excited. So um, here's the box. I haven't even, I have not even taken the tape off yet. I'm so excited to see what's in here. More electronic gadgets. Let's have a look. Right then, let's go. Filming you. I've fancied the Chevet 1200 for a while because apparently, oh, look at this. Apparently you have a lot more control over the flow and a lot of the photographs I've been doing have been very small contained scenes. And while the 700's great, 700's great for portraits, and photographs and things when you're doing like miniature, really, really tiny bits and pieces. Watch the man fail to take a thing out of a box. Exciting, so pull this out. You can go away. I'm done with you. I think I just hit the. Okay, any more tape? Oh, exciting. So that's going to be the um, hangy bit. My grasp of terminology is dead on. It's my polystyrene. It's not technical polystyrene. Big than I expect. Bigger than the old. You can go over there. What else have we got? So we've got plug, handy, cable. We have some knob. We have remote control with multiple buttons and things. What else have we got? Oh, exciting sticker that I may or may not use. And uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Is over twice the size, so I may have to clear out. You over there do not eat. Snack for later. Collect those because they're surprisingly handy. 
uh, for storing. So what have we got? We've got a remote. The remote. I'll be honest, this is the first unboxing I've done. But I am remember to actually keep and be, to be honest, not a review or anything. I'm just excited about having a new toy to play with. So let's put it together. Oh, it's a nice long one. The other thing that was great, the cable length on the remote was really long. As this looks like control it from the other side of the room. I was hoping, I'll be honest, I didn't actually read the um, marketing very much. I was hoping it actually read a uh, remote. A wireless. Just guessing now. I know what these are for. Strapping on the hangy bit. I guess we put one of these either side. This is great watching. Where's the hole? There's the hole. Get in. Come on. I want to hang you from the ceiling and make weird photographs. Right. The other rubber bit. I'm being blinded by my video light, which is not helping the situation very much. Put it there. Directly in front of my eyes rather than there, where it should have been. Okay. Get in, get in, get in. You know, I wasn't going to use this tonight, but I think it'd be rude not to. So let's have a look in. It's quite a short power cable, but to be honest, I've got an excess of stupidly long kettle leads anyway. I love everything that uses a kettle lead. It's nice and standard. It makes my life easy. That's a very short kettle lead. I've got like a three meter one somewhere. Boom! There we go. Chevet DJ 1200. But on top of that, I got myself another present. Out of the way, you're coming in to be used later. I also got myself a box with something else. What's in here? I know what's in here. Oh my god. More cardboard packaging. <clears throat> Low line or fog. Big old bottle. Low line fog fluid. I think that's what we're going to give a try. Welcome back to Confused Old Man Plays with Smoke Machine. Um, yeah, so I filled it up. I found a longer power cable, although not as long as I thought. For my showing off about all the extra long kettle leads I've got, I couldn't find any of them. Skim the manual. Um, put in some low-lying fog fluid. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Okay, I need to work out how to use it. Nope. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Right, so I've worked it out. It's uh, flashing blue, which means it thinks there's no fluid in there, which I'm guessing is there's no fluid gone through the tube yet. There's nothing explicit in the instructions to state how you start the fluid going. I'm literally just dunking the tube in and out in a very unscientific fashion in an attempt to start a process off, which isn't working very well. Can't tip the fluid upside down because there's a whacking great hole in the top and it'll just go everywhere. But yeah, ultimately, until the fluid has started to flow, it ain't gonna do anything. I'm not sucking on the end of it to start it off. Oh, hang on. Nope. 
Can you stop flashing? It stopped flashing. Let's see if it works. That's noisy. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right, this is theoretically low-lying smoke fluid. Okay, so let's see if we can control the output. Take it down to minimum. Oh, that's fantastic. The amount of control on here. Oh, saying that. Take it up to maximum. That's a lot. <laughs> right. What's the lowest we can get out of it? That's too low, apparently. Not that low lying, is it? I guess comparatively it might be slightly low lying, but it's not really hugging the table, which was my hope. But to get fair, it is an exceptionally hot day. Let's pop this down a bit. You're not supposed to move it while it's in operation. Let's try again. By the way, the fact I have a remote control that allows me to control the output. I wish the minimum output was slightly less than it is because it's still a bit more than I often need. I'm guessing the stutters are probably where it's running through the uh, air bubbles from the initial feed. Right, let's try it on uh, automatic. So it's going to say every 10 seconds, do five seconds worth at there. Do your thing. That's minutes, that's not seconds, that's minutes. Okay, let's say every 30 seconds, do five seconds. Do your thing. <laughs> nice. There we go, it works. Now I must let it cool down and pack it away. There's no off button. There's literally no off button. I just need to uh, unplug it. So there we go, confused old man, opens box, can't work out a switch on a smoke machine. Should have actually read the manual or maybe watched somebody else unboxing the same one first to get an idea. It was quite good fun anyway. Haven't used it yet, we'll use it soon. Um, let's take that as a dry run. Not buying another smoke machine in the near future, probably some other equipment. Um, I should just say, in defense of the Chevet DJ 1200, it is a fantastic piece of kit and I've had a proper play with it. I didn't read the marketing details properly. I was expecting a uh, an unwired remote. It clearly states on there. It doesn't come with an unwired remote unless you buy one separately. Um, I also did not get a, give a fair shot at the low-lying fog because I just fired it off once. I'm going to go and do some experiments later. Also, I do understand that it's not designed for the purposes I want it for. I'm using it predominantly for very small-scale tabletop photography. It's designed for haze in nightclubs and photography and larger scale settings. I'm going to experiment with it, see what we can do, and I'll put some videos up and put some photos on my Facebook page. Take care. See you again soon.